This is a little secret. It's a little jewel back here. The geology in this area, it's, it's a good splattering of many different types of rocks. So in one location, one 20 acre claim can have several different types of rock. So you need a, a more of an arsenal of equipment to be able to cover that same area. This looks like bear scat. I've cruised through this area and there's a bunch of little shacks and stuff. Yep, here it is. Yeah, it's, told you we'd find it. It's kind of a hard thing to miss once you find it. So this would have just been residual gold creeping down the hillside that warranted uh, enough payoff to move this much material. Well, that's the best thing we've heard so far. Sounds pretty good, right? I mean, from what I understand. Oh, it's gold. I really can't tell my cloudy eyes. Is that gold or is that splattered bullet? I mean, from here it looks like gold. <laughs> what I'm doing right now is uh, we couldn't tell here uh, with this little signal if it was gold or lead uh, uh, like a, a splattered lead fragment and it's muddy and I spit on it I still wasn't able to get it to clean up and I don't think we have any water so I just scraped it with my knife and if it's lead it looks like lead but I scraped it and that's gold right there there's there's no mistaking now now I'm excited Woo! <laughs> I was like oh another piece of lead and we found it right there that a consistent 89, 90, 91, like it's consistent. So that sounds like a keeper so far. Not that rock. <laughs> Ooh, okay. That's almost an overload, but it doesn't sound like one of those nails. Is that what that sounded like? Up close. Pretty, not too far. I mean, who knows? One way to find out. fell off right over here. I watched it. No? Where are you? Where'd you go? Yeah. Okay, I'll try it again. Ooh. 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 That is a piece of gold. <laughs> I felt it hit the coil, like chunk. I could feel the weight. Dude. Goldmaster 24K. <laughs> well, now that you know where it's at, I might have to lose you. <laughs> where, I don't know where Tom went.
We found it. Wow. We don't even need to scrape this one. Oh, we gotta get Sarah in on this. You see that? Dude, that's like a, it's not super heavy. It's probably pretty porous, but that's a cool looking nugget. That's like zero traveled. <laughs> I don't even know what to do now. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. I'm looking around here. I'm like, uh, that's good ground right there. A little delayed though. Whoa. Come here. That. <laughs> well, guys, this is me our little secret. <laughs> I'm more familiar with TDI. Obviously, there's larger pieces of gold here, and this TDI with this coil is going to be able to pick them up pretty deep. All right, still going down. Uh oh. It's in the duff. Well, most likely it's a 22 bullet. Or not a 22, but a piece of lead, shrap metal, or a piece of tin can, something on the surface. But no, actually, it's a gold nugget. <laughs> holy sh I, I, I'm going to say it. Holy sh Like, seriously. Like, already? White's TDI. Um, whoa. Well, Tom, I know we didn't just talk about the disclaimer, but this is a secret. <laughs> We picked up some really nice gold today with a TDI SL and a Goldmaster 24K. Combination of good equipment and uh, good prospecting, you know, because there's millions of acres of ground out there that's not worth detecting on, so you got to find the spot that, that works for you. And here's the proof, I mean, you know, it's a pretty good day, pretty fun. The 49ers would come out west and make their fortune or go broke and they would come back home and they would tell their families like I went out west and I lived the dream of chasing gold out in California, Oregon and I saw the elephant. They took that leap into the unknown and lived to tell about it.